All right, the best way to practice scales is by practicing scales. So we're gonna be doing that together. We're gonna work the right hand, the left hand, hands together, one octave, two octaves, all kinds of fun things and twists and turns because scale practice should not be boring. So right hand ready on C, and here we go. C, D, E, thumb tucks, F, G, A, B, C, repeat the C, C, B, A, G, F, third finger comes up and over and we're just gonna keep doing this on repeat. So the idea here is that you're settling in to what you're doing. So I want you to breathe. I want you to make sure your shoulders are relaxed. Maybe even smile. And again, C, D, E, thumb comes under F, G, A, B, C, repeat that, C, B, A, G, F, E, D, C. Left hand, five finger on C. D, E, F, G, up and over with a three, two, one. Repeat this C, B, A, thumb tucks. And we're just gonna keep on going with this. Now, pay attention to how your fingers feel because I know especially with my left hand, I notice that my pinky finger likes to pop up and I can be a little more tense. So I have to think about relaxing, especially through here. See, ah! Again, <laughs> nice curve in your fingers. Even weight in the keys. And the track makes it so much more fun to play along with. I remember I used to play without a track and I had to use a metronome and I did not love that. One more time. And I'm gonna say one more time, a million times in this lesson. <laughs> Now when we get to the bottom with our left hand, we're gonna put our right hand back on the keys and give our left hand a break. So get it ready. So C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Now when we get to the bottom, I'm gonna speed us up just a little bit. So you might have to listen first. We're gonna go. Right? It's not so bad. Again. Repeat it. Now, if you're anything like me, you might find that your brain starts to wander a little bit. And you're like, oh, I'm doing the same thing over and over and over again. So if that's happening, play a chord in your left hand. a little bit of an extra if you find yourself getting bored. C. And then G. But you don't have to do this. This is just a little bit of an extra thing that you can do <laughs> if you need a little something extra. Because the secret to practice, in my opinion, is keeping your brain engaged at all times, not allowing yourself to go into autopilot. So let's just do right hand and staccato. So now my brain's like, what? This is different. And that's how you build those new pathways. That's how you develop the dexterity and the control in your fingers to be able to play whatever it is you want to be able to play. So we're gonna do this one more time like this. And then we're gonna switch back to our left hand. So get your left hand ready, five finger on C. Let's go staccato. It's tricky because, I don't know, I find that my control is not quite as good in my left hand. And when you're playing staccato, you want all of the notes to be even. Exactly the same. You tap your foot if that helps. Again. Okay, let's get real crazy and see if we can do this hands together, but not staccato. Just normal. Did you see that left hand five finger fly up just there? Ah! 
I've been playing for years and there's still things I have to work on. Ah! So I'm just gonna mentally say, oh, relax. And see if I can keep that. Oh, that was better. Not really. <laughs> it's a work in progress. Okay, right hand only. See if you can follow me. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, tuck. What? Okay, your four fingers are gonna be playing the B. <laughs> this is crazy. Let's do it again. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. One more time. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. What are the numbers I'm saying? I don't even know anymore. It's all blending together. Four comes up and over. Okay. Let's do one more, one more time. <laughs> Repeat the C. Notice how that fourth finger is always hitting the B. Okay, left hand's turn. Left. C, D, E, F, G, A, B. C4 is on the D now. Tuck. And the four plays the D and then you tuck again. So once the four finds its sort of home base note, it repeats playing on that every single time. And that's how you can kind of remember when and where to do those thumb tucks and flyovers. And again. off the keys, shake it out for a second. It's a really important thing to remember, especially when we're focusing for an extended period of time, is you can just take a beat, relax, roll the shoulders. We're gonna get both hands ready to play one octave now. So remember to breathe. Okay, here we go. C, D, E, tuck. Again. Actually, let's slow that down. C, D, E. Right hand tucks, left hand flies over. This is complicated, especially if you're new to playing scales and new to playing hands together. This takes a while. This is where a lot of beginner piano players get stuck. And that's okay, because you can return to this video as often as you like. Again. Okay, let's play a little bit. Left hand play C. And then it's gonna go to G. Oh, I lied. It's not gonna go to G. It's not gonna go to G. It's not gonna go to G at all. Okay, now it's gonna F. <laughs> now we can go to G. Let's do that again. Left hand five finger on C. And we're gonna go to A minor. That's A and E. Okay, you're like, Lisa, that's not a scale. What are you doing? Don't worry about it. It sounds really good when you play the scale in your right hand and you've got these notes in your left hand. So let's do that. To the A. To the F. actually in the comments why are these important I think so many of us just go 
through our daily practices doing what we're supposed to do without really asking why. So for me, this allows me to move smoothly from note to note when I'm playing or improvising. Gives me dexterity, helps me really get to know the key that I'm playing in. And I love to start my practices with scales because it gives me like, just sort of something I can use to arrive at the piano with instead of just rushing into a practice. practice that you can return to as often as you like. And you should know we've got a lot more videos in this format with the track where you play along with us um, inside the piano members area. So if you want to check those out for free, just grab our free seven day trial below this video. So I would love to hear from you about why you practice scales. Why do you believe it's important? Why do you do this? Um, and I hope that you had fun in this practice. So I'll see you next time and happy practicing.